From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with Ryan Aber, OU beat writer. Ryan, before the season started, Lincoln Riley was asked about his defense making up for an offense that was sure to fall off. And Lincoln Riley said, we're not planning on falling off. And I think everybody thought, yeah, right. You've lost two Heisman <laughs> Trophy winners over the last two years. Surely, Almost all of your offensive line. All of your offensive line, offensive weaponry, <laughs> all of that. Surely there's no way that they can keep it up to that level. Ryan, they've been better to this point. <laughs> is that a surprise? Yeah, it is. And, and let's start by saying the competition level is going to get higher. It's going to get tougher. And that number, the yards per play number uh, that I wrote about in, in Tuesday's Oklahoma is going to come down a little bit. But it's still historically high. It's uh, about two yards better than last year when OU set the NCAA record for, for yards per play over the course of a season. It is a surprise, but Jalen Hurts has been fantastic beyond the wildest dreams of anybody that uh, you know could have come up with how good he would have performed. Uh, CeeDee Lamb's obviously been really good, which we knew he was, but Charleston Rambo has emerged, Jaden Hazelwood has emerged, and that line, while not perfect, and certainly the, the penalties are continue to be a concern, has still been really good overall. The challenge will get tougher, especially in two weeks when they face Texas. Uh, down the road, especially in November with the Big 12 schedule. But uh, for now, this team is just phenomenal offensively. 10.4 yards a play right now. The next best team is Alabama. I think at 8.3 is where yeah. they are right now. Unbelievable that, that gap between where OU is and where Alabama is. You mentioned a lot of the different pieces to the puzzle, but what do you feel like has been um, – it's easy to say, obviously, Jalen Hurts is the reason why this is happening. But what do you feel like has been absolutely necessary to take another seeming jump ahead with Lincoln Riley leading this offense? Well, you said it right there. It's Lincoln Riley leading the offense. His ability to fit his system into the quarterback that he has. And I, I saw him say, uh, talking to Joel Klatt on Fox, that if you have a system that isn't quarterback friendly, then you need to change your system. And what Lincoln Riley has done is made the ultimate quarterback friendly system. That's a big part of what the air raid is uh, at its core. But obviously Lincoln Riley has grown far beyond the air raid with the, the concepts that he uses, especially in the run game, which is much different than what he uh, sort of grew into college football with, with Mike Leach. His ability to maneuver the system to fit Jalen Hurts and, and then Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray before him has just been phenomenal. And uh, when you have great players and a great system, it leads to stuff like this. You know, and I, I think some things that I've been a little bit interested in, we've seen a guy like Jeremiah Hall continue to emerge. Uh, you know, not that they haven't used sort of those, those fullbacks before, but maybe not to the extreme of him. And also, Ryan, the running game to this point, um, while it's been good, it hasn't been used a lot. And so you're thinking those running backs should be fairly fresh the second half of the season. I mean, some things that when you talk about tweaks that Lincoln Riley's made, I think that continues to, you see that evolution in what they're, what they're doing. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I talked to Trey Sermon about that uh, last week uh, about being fresher. And he said, yeah, you can tell the difference on Sunday morning when you wake up mm -hmm. uh, now versus a year ago with uh, how sore you are, how much you have to stretch, things like that. It's much better to this point, and that's what they need because they're going to need to lean on those guys more and more as the season goes on when they play teams like Texas, like TCU, Baylor, Oklahoma State. Those are going to be tougher tests, and if you've got uh, Kennedy Brooks and, and Trey Sermon uh, fresh, it looks like Kennedy Brooks avoided a serious injury uh, with the hit that he took that knocked him out of Saturday's game against Texas Tech. Uh, they're, they're really going to need those guys, and I think uh, also Jalen Hurts' running ability has helped uh, save those guys as well. When he's able to take on the, the workload in the run game that he has, both in the design runs and, and the scrambles, that takes a lot of pressure off everybody else. All right, we'll see what tweaks and what fun the Oklahoma offense has on Saturday. It's 11 o'clock kick at Kansas on ABC. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at theoklahoman.com and every day in the Oklahoman.